Hello, welcome back to Satisfactory Blueprints. Today's going to be quick. We're just going to look at these two uh, hyper cannon, hyper tube cannons that I built. As always, the blueprints are available in the description of the video. So we'll talk how to build them. Uh, entry speed versus the launch distance. Show the launch distance of this 12 entrance canyon and then just show a couple building steps if anyone's looking to build their own. Uh, thanks for watching. This is the single blueprint cannon materials below and then for this you just connect this front power to wherever you need and yeah that's it these things are great um, I use them everywhere my original cannon has two blueprints I place the outlet first um, H to lock and nudge as needed All right, and then we get the inlet and line it up, lock it, nudge, make sure it's uh, just like it is shown here. Power connects in the middle and then off the front. And that's it. Um, the one restriction is just be wary of your exit path. And yeah, those are the three blueprints. Uh, I've always used a 12, 12 entrance cannon. Uh, works for me to get you halfway, two thirds across the map. I'll show that distance in a while. So important to note, there is a uh, difference in the launch distance depending on how fast you go into the first entrance. So me personally, I always do the slide crouch jump in uh, to get the highest speed, I'm also wearing Blade Runners, and so that's just my average speed, and that's what I'm used to when I launch. And just to see, that's where we started, right there. Hopefully I speed that up, but this gives you an idea of the distance. I mean, we started here, so that's two-thirds of the map, really. Maybe more? Yeah, so to the edge of the map, from inside the Titan Forest. Another note on entry speed. You can run a belt one meter below the cannon entrance, and that can simulate entering at a faster speed. Don't use a Mark V with a 12 entrance cannon. That'll shoot you off the map. I think walking in on a Mark III belt is the closest to the crouch slide jump speed. Final note on operating the cannon, you always want to save some of your jetpack fuel. Sounds obvious, but you will go through the floor if you cross the world and don't have a jetpack to slow your fall. Now with blueprints, the best way to make these cannons is just to make a little module. So that's what I'm doing here with the compact one. And it's just the one space. Uh, put the tube, run the tube, delete the end, and then put the hypertube entrance on top. And then you save that blueprint and then you just duplicate it as many times as you want. I always use 12 because that's what I started with and that's what I'm used to in the air. You can experiment with different angles and lengths, but uh, what I usually do is for the launch tube, I do five out and then once it's set, I go two up and then I rotate two back and then be sure to use noodle um, for build mode R until you get to noodle and that way it works and then I just removed the end um, since update 8 helps the launch in terms of design um, I actually kind of like doing the power more like this with the two uh, opposite arrays but uh, for the blueprint I built a more compact design This clip is just to show how versatile the uh, cannon is with the jetpack. Uh, you don't need as many as you think because just veering off, this is veering off far left and uh, this cannon is pointed directly west and we get, you know, completely southwest of where we, where we started. So jetpack helps, turbo fuel helps or is just fun really.
All right. I think that's about it. Thanks for watching.